In this 9 ball situation, we are on the 6 ball. We want to get position for the 7 ball. We're going 2 rails by just playing a high ball. And we ran into the 8 ball. So, is it possible to pass the 8 ball on this side? And if so, do we need left spin or do we need right spin? In today's episode, we will find out. As you can see, of course, I've put my GoPro on so that you can see exactly where I'm hitting. And I would say, let's just play the pure follow shot first so that you can see how high I'm exactly hitting the ball. And again, we had the problem that we ran into that eight ball and have no shot on the seven ball. First of all, this is the same situation I was covering in a video from the December series. And uh, really a lot of you guys were suggesting in the comments I should play the shot with high and left spin in order to pass the eight ball on this side. So let's just uh, play it with high and left and afterwards we're going to talk about what happens with the cue ball. And as you saw, this time we passed the 8 ball on the other side and not on the side we want to pass it. So why is that? First of all, it uh, has something to do with uh, spin induced throw and the tangent line, but just a tiny bit. But the secret is uh, in those two rails. But first of all, we're going to play it with high right and then we're going to analyze uh, every shot on the computer with uh, post commentary and with those line so that you can see exactly what is happening. This is a lot easier to explain. So we're going to play it with high right now and then we should be able to pass the eight ball on this side, shouldn't we? Let's find out. And again, we pass the eight ball on the other side, so the same side as with high and left. So this is a bit strange. We could not pass the eight ball with high left and not with high right on this side. Just with high, we were able to even hit the eight ball. So why is that? It's a really interesting thing uh, that there is no chance to get to the other side. So let's analyze the whole thing on the computer. Let's start by just playing a pure follow shot without any English and track the line of the cue ball. And as you can see, this is the line we are hitting the 8 ball. Now let's play it with high left and watch what happens with the cue ball. As you can see, the tangent line of the cue ball, this means the contact point on the first row changes just a tiny bit. This has something to do with spin induced throw because you can hit a bit thicker. This changes the tangent line and this also changes how the follow or the curve for the follow will be. But of course it can also be because I hit a different part of the pocket. But the biggest difference here is the contact point on the second rail. You can see that the left spin opens the angle and we hit the long rail a bit earlier, a bit closer to the corner pocket and the spin, the left spin, doesn't have enough left spin to open the angle so far that we're passing the 8 ball on the right side. That's why the cue ball passes on the wrong side in our case. And now let's see what happens if we're playing high with inside spin. As you can see, the contact point on the first rail is around the same, but the important thing is the contact point on the second rail now is above our standard follow line. And this would basically mean that the cue ball should travel a line where it passes the 8 ball on the right side. But the problem is here that we have that inside spin and the inside spin is still present, the same as uh, the left spin. But it closes the angle so much and we're still passing the 8 ball on the wrong side again. So as you can see, there is no chance either with left spin or right spin to pass the 8 ball on the right side. And now let's compare the lines for outside spin and inside spin real quick. This is the line for the outside spin and this is the line the cue ball travels for the inside spin. As you can clearly see, the huge difference here is the contact point on the second rail. But apart from this contact point, the final line of the second rail 
is pretty similar. Imagine you're using a bit more outside spin, a bit less high, then the final line is very, very similar. And of course, another huge difference is the speed that the cue ball has with inside spin. Uh, the cue ball gets slowed down by the rails and if you're using outside spin, of course, the cue ball gets a lot of speed from the rails because of that outside spin the running English you're using. So, as we saw, there is no real way to pass the 8-ball on this side. With the spin, we always get to this side. The only chance we have to pass the 8-ball on this side, however, is the best possible follow shot we can play. This means the most forward rotation. And of course, another problem is the harder we hit, the longer the cue ball will stay on the tangent line and that way we have no chance. So just to show you how this would look with a really hard follow shot. We will hit the 8 ball pretty full and compared to before we were hitting the 8 ball a bit thinner. So the secret is to play the best possible follow shot uh, you can do. And the secret to this is following through the cue ball. So I will try to pass the 8 ball on this side now. Just grazed it. So you see this is really really difficult. We got kind of a shot here but this was pure luck. So I was suggesting in the other video this is basically the same that I was telling you plus uh, one more way to get to the seven ball. Um, you have uh, a lot of different options to actually get to the seven ball. The first option was drawing around the eight ball to get to the seven. This would look something like this with low and left. But you gotta be a bit careful with the side uh, corner pocket, it's easy to scratch here. So this is one option you had. Then my favorite option was uh, to play it with low and right, going around the angles. This would look something like this. bit unlucky that we got a bit too straight here but this is the second option and also another option that I wasn't showing in the previous video because uh, this video was just about that inside spin shot is to actually pass the eight ball on this side uh, going towards here hit a bit harder and bringing the cue ball also to the same side of the seven so this would look something like this It's also a very reliable shot. You can choose whatever path you want to choose. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that uh, low left shot where we are trying to curve around the eight ball or going towards here. This is a bit too difficult to execute and also you can't predict 100% what's going to happen. My favorite shot is this shot with inside spin where we're going around. It's a bit more difficult to execute. So I would think uh, as a beginner, the high left shot where you're going around like this towards here is the, the easiest shot to execute and it's actually very reliable. So choose whatever shot fits you the best. It's very important to know every uh, shot there is and you should now know why uh, it's not possible to pass the eight ball on this side. As you maybe noticed, I'm using a new cue. This is my new cue, which is sponsored by Mass Cues, uh, which is my new cue sponsor. So a huge thank you. I'm really proud to be part of the Mass family now. And uh, I'm not only having a playing cue, I'm also having a jump and a break cue. And all of this will be introduced uh, in one of my next videos, which will be a what's in the case video. And there I'm not only uh, showing you my cues, but everything that I'm using. Uh, including a small behind the scenes video where I'm also showing how I'm producing all of this. So a really interesting video to come. All right, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then please, as always, consider to uh, like, comment, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And very important, maybe also watch the original video from the December series. Okay, guys, a huge thank you goes out to all of my sponsors, to my patrons and to everyone who's supporting me. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, See you in the next lesson. Take care.